Hi everybody, happy holidays day nine. This is crazy, tomorrow's it. I just wanted to hop on and say hello. It's already one in the afternoon. I slept until 9.30 today and I washed my hair for the first time since Tuesday when I got it colored. That tells you what kind of week it's been. And Meme is here helping out. Hi, Mem. Hi. <laughs> she came to help remove tags from all of the haul yesterday. I um, had $1,500 in sales between yesterday and today. I've, I've honestly never in five years had this many sales to process, ever, ever. So I'm so grateful to everybody taking advantage of the deal of the day. So stay tuned till the end. We'll be sure to reveal today's deal. Just two more days of deals. Um, so I'm gonna go downstairs and just pull sales with you today. I can't even get to all of them. The mail carrier already came, but we have one other post office that closes at 3 p.m. So I'm gonna hustle, see what I can get shipped out today and enjoy time with my mom. We gotta put on the music. We gotta put, who do you feel like listening to, mom? Christmas carols. Anything in particular? No. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put on some Christmas music and have some fun. These two items sold in the sweater sale. This is a cashmere L.L. Bean sweater V-neck that I had priced at $68. And this is an Iviva sweater, Lululemon's girls brand. This was at $28, so combined this was a $55 sale. Um, this was separate from the sale. This was just a recent purchase, the smart wool hat that I bought at Savers. This is a beautiful hat. I think it's called the Chairlift Beanie. I listed it for $28. Somebody liked it, so I sent out 20% off with discounted shipping, so it sold for $22. I believe this beautiful sweater by Brochu Walker. This is a very high-end sweater. Um, I had this listed, I can't remember, but I think it sold for like 36 or something. Okay, a couple of eBay sales unrelated to Happy Holidays. These Olakai slippers sold for $70. If you remember, I had these priced at $94 and they are just beautiful. They're new without tag. This Furby um, little guy that we got at the bins, he sold for full asking of $49, which I was really excited about because I had received a $25 offer, maybe a $30 offer as well. But a lot of people had Furby priced at like $59, $60, $70, $70 on eBay. So I held strong with my $49 and I'm so happy that he sold right before the holidays. So those are both eBay sales. Also this Lauren, Ralph Lauren, button down plaid shirt. Oh, I gotta push these down before I package it up. This sold for $21. Can't remember if that came in on an offer or what. These two sweaters sold um, through the sweater sale. This is a Bi Anthropology sweater that I had priced pretty high because I think it was one of these rare sweaters or a blogger favorite. When I had done research on this, there were, a, there were a lot of um, really high comps on the sweater. I can't remember what it sold for, but I think I originally had it for $79. And this floss sweater that I picked up the same day as I got this smart wool, I had listed at $59. And this sold also during the sale. This is Icelandic wool, totally beautiful. Um, sold for whatever 40% off 59 is. <laughs> My brain is no longer doing math. I'm so sorry. This next sweater that sold was also an eBay sale and it was a full price eBay sale. It's probably not a viewer. It was $38. Hopefully I can find this sweater. Hold on. All right, Adrian Vitadini. This is another two-ply cashmere sweater. Really beautiful. Sold for $38. So a lot of sweaters moving out. I'm gonna go print some labels and hang out with my mom for a little bit. Um, I need to get to the post office before three o'clock on Saturday. I'm trying to get out all of my eBay orders because they're a little bit more strict with shipping. And then some of the items that came in um, through my happy holiday sales are probably like Thursday and Friday. I sold some really big bundles and those are going to go out on Monday when Teen is here to help. This He's is so about good. it. We have about nine or ten items heading out. My mail guy's here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go get coffee. Right, Lumps? You're going to stay with Meme. 
You're hired, I'm, I'm, cutie. I didn't realize I was still on. You're hired. <laughs> so I made it out the door with my chauffeur. <laughs> Full service operation, that's what this is. And we were just laughing because we watched, I don't know, I'm sure my Massachusetts friends will know this, but have you watched the SNL skit with Casey Affleck at Dunkin' Donuts? Tina sent it to me the other day, and it is so hysterical. When real Bostonians do Boston humor, it's just the best. I'll try to link it below because it is so funny. We are gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and get something. Yes, I'm like the mayor of Dunkin'. I'm like the mayor of Dunkin's, <laughs> and he's like, go back to Starbucks. Oh my God, we were dying. I love Duncan, guys. <laughs> Dying. All right, we're, we're going to make it. Sorry, bumps again. We have a post office that closes at 3 p.m. and we are always down to the minute. It's 2.53. By the time we get there, it'll probably be 2.58. And then I run in and get my packages. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and print more labels and get ready for Monday morning. And Tina might work on Sunday because she's a love and she might come in just to help with shipping um, because we also have about 60 items to process too. And I ended up postponing my whatnot show as well. So I'm not doing it tomorrow because with all of the sales for happy holidays, I just thought it would just be just too much to do a whatnot show and then have all that shipping on Monday. So I postponed it. I guess it's gonna be the 17th. I did one week out. So, all right, I think that's it for updates. We are almost at the post office. So it's 52 degrees out. It is so warm. We're gonna have to get in a big walk later because I think it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain and be kind of foggy because it's so warm. But um, I'm so excited for the weather. Look, I'm just a sweatshirt. No, no jacket required. You can tell it's Christmas time because, oh, are those Girl Scout cookies? Somebody's selling something, honey. Oh, it's Girl Scouts. You gotta buy some cookies. Peanut butter sandwich, thin mints for wifey. And trefoils, those are the boring ones. Those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> those are boring. But <laughs> The question is what goes well with a Dunkin' latte? That's what trefoils. I would say. Trefoils. Actually, that probably is kind of good for coffee. I still like thin mints. Everybody cast your vote, which Girl Scout cookie? <laughs> thin mints are so classic, so good. These are good. I used to like the ones with the chocolate and the coconut on top, but then they got too sweet. Too sweet for my adult taste. Dunks time. What are you gonna get? There it is. What, oh, the whoopie pie? This. It's so good. It's are you gonna get it? I'll get it I'll get it. They didn't have Jay's whoopie pie donut. <laughs> so I got, Sometimes I just get coffee, two thirds coffee, one third hot chocolate, and that's it. And it's so good. Their hot chocolate's so good. Meme just did my arrangements over here. She does them for Mother's Day, and then she comes out in the winter and does them. They look so pretty, Mama. Well, a lot better than the, the dead, a lot better than the dead stuff that was there. For Much sure. Much more seasonal. Yeah, I love the little baby pine cones. Mm, aren't they pretty? You've got so many of those trees with the baby pine cones. And all your holly's gone to seed. Well, no, the, there's some red berries over there, but uh, yeah. Yeah, not enough, but I gotta buy a male and a female winterberry bush. I wanted one, Judy Residue bought me one, but it never... Hey, are you peeing right there, Freshie? That's not a good spot to pee, you fresh boy. <laughs> he picked up a set. <laughs> Thank you for all your help today, Mom. You're welcome, honey. Anytime. You know I'm always ready, willing, and able. <laughs> you are so good. I'm not so able today, but... Mm -hmm. Well, you, I hope you, you feel better. Me, you gave me an easy job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I am sufficiently caffeinated for the second half of the day and into the evening. This is about to be a bundle sale for somebody who bought a dress during the 40% off sale and it had sold on eBay in 2020. Prior to Vendu having their auto sales detection and delist, you had to manually go in. 
Um, so anyways, that was very sad. I had to reach out to her. So we're working on another deal here. She already purchased something else in the sale. So this is for April. Huge thank you to April for your patience. So she bundled stuff, but before I accepted the offer or sent an offer, I wanted to make sure I have everything. So there's this new with tag and Taylor blazer. This was what I think she was most excited about. This is gorgeous, $159.99. I think I had this priced at 59, like a hundred off. This is a beautiful Talbot's um, wool open cardigan. This is just beautiful. It'll be so nice this season. These are both great holiday pieces. And then this Banana Republic corduroy blazer and a pair of Clark's um, black ankle boots that are upstairs. So I am going to send her an offer on these items now. And this will ship out on Monday morning. I get a little paranoid after something bad like that happens where I can't fulfill an order. So before I send out offers on the follow-up or, uh, order, I always want to make sure I have everything. So hopefully as time goes on and our system becomes more and more efficient, these accidents will happen less and less, which I feel like they have. But I still had a few snags with all of these sales because some of the stuff moving is super old. All right, we are over here at my sales because I want to share with you how crazy it's been. This has honestly been the most I've ever sold in one week period ever. And so I wanted to share it with you. So I'm like, what's the matter, Lumpy? You can come on over. We'll go from December 1st until today as far as sales and we can apply. And these are just all of the things that have sold from the 1st to the 9th. Okay. <laughs> he heard me talking and he was like getting upset or something i don't know whoops we're on the wrong screen here what are you doing why are you being crazy can you not bite me stop <laughs> you're like chewbacca can you stop it'd be nice i think i got lumpy situated so let's see let's see how this goes i'm gonna move me here Let's go to Closet Insights because this is crazy to me, just, just to share with you. Today so far um, has been $804 in sales. Yesterday was nine oh seven. This is this is just this week. This is typically what I sell in an entire month, and I'll I'll share with you some of my stats. So this is because each day, in case you're just tuning in for the first time in the month of December, while I've been doing Happy Holidays, which is kind of my 10-day version of Vlogmas, I offer a deal each day. And you can see that the deals have kind of caught on by this time, this second half of Happy Holidays. And also because I've been honoring some of the sales from earlier in the week because I've been uploading so late. If I come over to up here and I do current year, you can see if I move this, this was my best month out of the year. But like I would say on average, I'm more around that 4,000 mark. The beginning of the year was a very slow start because my dad was sick. He passed away in March. And then, you know, I started to build up again. We're here already in December and it's only December 9th, which is crazy to me. I would love so much to get to 50k on the year. I don't think it's going to happen. I've surpassed that if you include my eBay sales, but just for Poshmark. I don't know. I think if I go over all time, look at these numbers from 2021. I think what happened with these two years is I was just doing more and more with YouTube. And then as a result, my reselling business suffered a little bit. Whatnot is a sliver and then eBay is a portion. But I thought it was pretty interesting to check this out. So I will just scroll through some of the sales from this week. This one was unrelated to Happy Holidays. Um, I had that listed for 35 and I got a $31 offer, which was fantastic. This is the bundle I was showing you downstairs that I wanted to make sure I had everything. This was from last night's deal of the day, which was coats. So I was doing 40% off coats. The day before that was sweaters. So you'll see some of the bundles here. This, this is one of the best sales I've had in a while. This crease cashmere sweater I picked up. Um, I think I paid like five or six dollars for this sweater and I had it listed for $1.99. This person sent me like a 25% off offer, which was so fair. If we look at the details here, this was a $248 sale. So this was unrelated to Happy Holidays. This just came through though today, which was fantastic. This was the coat sale here. 
a bundle of mostly coats. This has all been just the past couple of days, which is crazy. Random that I sold this new with tag Vineyard Vines bow tie. It's, it's a turkey and it sold for full price. And I remember being very disappointed because it didn't sell for Thanksgiving. And here we are a week later and sold. You just never know. You never know when things are going to sell. Some more sweaters. This cute vintage sweater sold. And I do love this sweater. I think I'm going to go hang a couple things up from yesterday's sale. And we're going to call it a day. Lumby, show everybody what a good boy you are. So this is the wag. This is like the Amazon greenie that we like. Are you ready? Sit. Can you show? Give me paw. Sit. Give me. No. <laughs> He's confused because I always tell him down. And again, sit. <laughs> All right, down is okay. That works for me, cutie. You love your greenie? Where's Lammy? I've got Lammy and greenie. Before we head downstairs, I just want to show you the progress my mom and I made today. This was all compliments of Meme. She took off all of the tags, removed all of the staples from the two shops from yesterday. This is a pile of all new with tag items. So those will go right downstairs to be photographed with Tina. This is a pile of all the stuff that we are keeping or gifting. This is the laptop case from the company Reigns from yesterday's video that I'm gonna keep for, uh, not laptop, for my iPad. Over here are thrifting gifts for tomorrow's haul for my kids the dish towel that I'm giving to my friend Marguerite, the sweater that I bought for my brother, pajamas for myself. So none of these are being processed. There are probably six or seven items in here that will go into next week's whatnot show. So let's go down there right now. We can get a closer look at some of the things from yesterday. Balancing very carefully as I go down my stairs. I spent some time sorting and getting these things ready to go. I think I have 44 items and probably a couple that I still need to wash. So I think in the end, it will be about 50 pieces to add to my Poshmark and eBay closet, and the rest are going to family members, myself, and whatnot. So this is one of the cashmere sweaters from Charter Club. That is really beautiful. This is a Madewell top. Most of the Madewell that you'll see are actually all of the Madewell is from 2021 or newer. This is a Bowden top that I got. This was a half off piece. I love the neckline on this Bowden top right here. Actually, I'm gonna put on my light and see if that helps at all. Okay, that's much better. I feel like the shadows were so bad. I'm just using my ring light here. This is another Madewell top. Um, this is flannel. It's really, really soft. My mom thought it was pajamas when she was sorting today. I like that it's a pullover and not a button down all the way down. Really nice piece. This is new with tags Zara that I got. I'm pretty sure this was a 50% off piece, so I paid like $2.75 for that. It's so nice to see everything now that everything's hanging. This is the Woolover sweater. Look at the condition on this as well. Beautiful. This is $79.50 on that. This is a Disney and Lauren Conrad collab that I don't believe I shared in the video. And I think this was like $1.50 or something. And I think it's supposed to be Minnie Mouse. There are some really cute stock photos. So I decided to try it out for my Disney fans. It's kind of subtle Disney too, which I'm a fan of. Here's that beautiful Zara um, bodysuit with comps that are like between $35 and $50. Really beautiful piece. Here is the vintage sequins top. Here's the Hugo Boss blazer which is absolutely stunning. You can kind of see the texture now in the light, maybe like a hound's tooth. Soft surroundings, this is a nice robe. I liked the detail right here. And I believe this was a half off one too, nice and soft. I like soft surroundings. Here's this Madewell skirt, new with tag. It is a size 12, which is great. I think this would look really nice with this Madewell piece. Those look so nice together, don't they? And then I have my pants here. These are the Chico's that are new with tag, $89 pants. The two pairs of figs. These are the Patagonia joggers. And then I have leggings from Lululemon and Gymshark right here. And these are the North Face navy blues, the new with tag Revice. I mean, I cannot believe all the new with tag items that I got. 
These pants are by Not Your Daughter's Jeans. They're called Sculptor. They really remind me of the faux leather pants I have from Spanx. Same quality, honestly. They're really, really nice. These are like brand new as well. The new with tag J. Crew plaid pants. These are for men. These joggers, they retail. They were on sale, Kim said, on the website for like $69, but I think they retail for $79 and they're no longer available. And then over here, sometimes when I'm getting the rack ready for Tina, when it's a big haul like this, I'll put the out of season pieces towards the back here. So this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous free people dress I'm in love with. Then this bathing suit, also new with tag from Athleta, $98. And then this little terry cloth cover up from Mini Bowden. I believe this was $1.50, it was a half off thing. So those are all the clothes that I have. And then over here, I have all of the boots, slippers, and the one bag that I picked up to be listed. And these will all get photographed in the photo box, which is why I keep them here. And then lastly are all of the Ed Hardy and the Lucky Brand belts that I bought. I really want to look up the styles of these because some of these belts were as high as $40. It was crazy, some of the comps on these belts. This one I mentioned yesterday, I think is pretty unique because the buckle the lucky brand one so i want to look these up so that i can start drafts for tina when she gets here oh and these are the ferrety shorts that will also be photographed in here all right i'm watching a movie <laughs> i'm watching a movie for the first time all week we've been so busy but it's not even eight o'clock and i'm uploading you snuck me in the video i'm so sorry again hey lump lump she sneaks us in the video <laughs> she's like come rest, rest on the couch and then she's like i'm filming you <laughs> we're watching the holdovers but we have to do the deal of the day, honey. Oh boy, deal of the day. Don't ask Jay, Gosh. he'll give everything away. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> I'm not answering that one. All you right. won't like my answer. Maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll let you do the finale. Tonight, we'll do 40% off tops. I don't think we've done just basic tops. Tops, anything that you wear on your top, 40% off. Does it include jackets? We just gotta figure this stuff out. Well, jackets were last night, so. Uh, so not jackets. No, I mean. Technically, mm, someone could make uh, an argument. Uh, I'm just asking. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me, really. Jackets are bulky. No, we sold a bunch of jackets. All right. Shh. 40% <laughs> off tops. Create a bundle. Right. Happy holidays. Right. We want to know what Jay's deal is. Whatever you'd like. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Happy holidays. This was a really nice, relaxing day. I'll see you tomorrow.